Hey guys, welcome to South Padre Island Birding and Nature Center. Today, we're going to be moving some alligators to South Padre Island that we got to move back to Beaumont. We partnered up with these folks for educational and, and, uh, and you know entertainment reasons here on South Padre Island. We're going to pick up three alligators that are, these alligators have not been nice to the rest of them. They've been fighting and biting each other. One actually killed another alligator. So today we're going to go in there and target those three that are being really bad. We're going to give them three nice ones from Gator Country, and we're taking the three bad ones home. Y'all watch us catch these gators at South Padre Island Birdie Center. Alright guys, so Brittany here uh, works here at the South Padre Island Birding and Nature Center and they've called us up because we got three problem alligators. I want to hear about these problem alligators. Brittany, tell us what's going on. Well, first of all, they're over six feet, which means they can start reproducing. Yeah. And then second of all, the two foot rule. There are some that are exceed that two foot rule. So some that's like, like maybe three feet, three and a half feet. So different. have we had an actual attack? Yes. Tell me about what happened. Um, the big, the big mama jamba ate, ate a little one. Like more. ate the little one? Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. All right, so you guys will be able to show us which ones these are? Yeah, you can tell. All right, now we can keep them off, brother. All right, let's identify. You, you do, you do. I'm just going to be the coach. All right, you, let's find the ones y'all want me to, want us to move. There you go, keep the rest of them off of us. The thing about it is with these captive alligators, we got a small room right here and over 30 gators, and as you can see, they're trying to bring it. So we need to keep them off of it while we look for the specific one. All right, as you can see, we're kind of cramped for room. These gators are used to being hand fed here at South Padre Island Birdie Center. We've got to identify the three that are being the problem. So I'm waiting on the staff now to pick them out for us so I can coach them and how to catch them with their hands. Yeah, Rick, you see that one right there? That one right there is going to be a six-footer. It's getting down to where it is of mating age. So, yeah, it, it needs to be pulled out of, out of this juvenile pond. But you will notice it kind of likes its uh, waterfall there. It doesn't want to leave. Hey, go back, go back. Come on, come on, go back. Come on, go back, go 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 Easy over the rocks. Easy. Don't make your bunch of space. All the way up. All the way back. Alright. Does anybody know how to get on the back? Or you want me to do the first one? Want me to do it first? Alright, see? The main thing in this right here is our head guy. He's the one gonna save us. The only reason you get bit right here is because you stick your finger in his mouth. When we land, we want to land right where that rope's at, right? With our hands. All right? Now, then what's it? All right, he's got him really good. I'm looking. I see how he's under the jaws. I know it's not going to slip off, right? I just want to get out of here, put my weight down, keep my hands out of the way. Now, watch my bottom finger. As I slide up, I want that bottom jaw. Remember, he's strong, but I'm keeping, I'm keeping pressure here, and now i got equal pressure here. Now, what I need is my partner to come up here and tape his mouth for me. You're clear. Go ahead. Really good. You got to ride back to Beaumont. Okay. Good. All right. That's one. So today um, we have some alligators that are getting a little bit too big for this pond. So we have captured them and now we're switching them out. Like we said, we would do every few months as they grow and uh, get bigger and uh, outgrow this pond, we need to take them out. So now we're going to release one of this, uh, this alligator that came from Beaumont from Gator Country to live out his next few months here until he gets too big again and we take him out. <laughs> hey guys, we're at the Birding and Nature, Nature and Alligator Sanctuary in South Padre Island. 
We partner up with the Birding Center and we put captive alligators that have been nuisance alligators at one time in another forever, forever home, a sanctuary, just like Gator Country. And so what we're doing here today is we are coming and picking up some of the larger alligators in this pond and we're bringing them back to Gator Country. And what we do is bring some of our smaller nuisance alligators and we bring them here and we let them do a little visit, stay for a couple years. And as they get larger, we bring them back to Gator Country. So this fellow right here, he is now at his home. He's gonna be here for the next couple years. And we're gonna release him in with his new friends and his new home for the next couple years. There you go. He's home, folks. Check him out. Making new friends. All right, guys, this is uh, what we built uh, here for um, Big Padre. Big Padre came from Beaumont. Uh, he's, a, he's a little over 12 foot, he's a good size alligator and doing real well for shows too. He's, he's done a really good job being here educating people of South Padre Island. As you can see, they do a really good job aerating this pond. Remember, we are at sea level here, so one of the struggles that we've had was uh, some of the salt water getting in this pond. These guys have been able to build a little miniature dam there to keep some of that out and uh, keep his water real fresh. Come out, one boy. Hey, boy. Come here. Boy, come here. There he is. Look at here. All right. Let's see. Come on. We have another one in here. It's, it's an eight foot female named Laguna. She's in here as well. Normally he'll stand up real pretty for you and show off. Yeah. Being a little shy today. What's the length? He's right at. Keep him down, down. Keep, okay. Putting them up. Okay. Keep him he's uh. He's right at twelve six, I believe that's what it was. Can you remember the exact? Twelve seven. Twelve seven. Okay. He's eight hundred pounds. Yeah, he is. He ball. he is really a little heavy. He's a big boy. Yeah, I wish we could get him to come up because he is he is amazing. He really is. He's uh. If he were at Gator Country, he'd be number five on the chart at Gator Country. Really? Yeah. Wow. I'm an environmental educator here at the Birding Center and a naturalist. What about you, Javi? Also a naturalist educator, environmental educator. Yeah, we, we started working with Gator Country a year ago. We have wild alligators in our area, but um, a lot of people that live around here don't know much about them. So we've been really happy to have these alligators here and rescue them and teach people about what a nuisance alligator is and um, how important they are to the ecosystem and how um, a lot of the fear is um, unprecedented and alligators get a pretty bad reputation and so we're, we enjoy having them all here. Yeah, these, these animals are like a, like a living classroom. You can teach about ecology, uh, cold-blooded, warm-blooded. Uh, they have amazing adaptations that you can teach about. So. They're a great way to teach kids about um, all those things in nature in general. Yeah, and, uh, biology. It's a good way to uh, talk about our habitats here too because we live, we have some freshwater wetlands here as well and we're surrounded by salt water and this is the only place on the island that there's alligators and that's because of the freshwater that we have here. So it's, it's a great to, way to teach about all that. Alright guys, I hope that you've enjoyed some of the sights and sounds here from South Padre Island Birding Center. We, uh, we're going to leave you with some really great some really great sights and sounds. Rick, our cameraman, is going to go way up top, let you guys have a whole view of the island. Hope you guys enjoyed the South Padre Island edition.